someone told me that love was only in the movies that don't exist in real life these days. No. Hi guys! Today, Ashley and I are outside just enjoying this amazing weather, even though it's um, just began March. And yeah. the weather is like amazing. It's like the beginning of summer, but it just, it's March. Like it feels yeah. amazing. Yeah. And today we are outside doing some acro. And um, sorry for all the background noises. Um, behind that wall is the road. So there's obviously cars driving by and yeah. then um, kind of farther past the camera is another road, but that's like in our neighborhood. so. Uh, we don't get a ton of cars passing by it, but <laughs> there's one right now, yeah. but that's okay. Um, and then we had this big grass area that we like to come out and do some practicing aerials, front Stretches. walkovers, back walkovers, stretching yeah. um, out here. So today we are going to be showing you guys some of the tricks that we have mastered since we've done some of our last gymnastics videos. And we are very sorry for not uploading too much lately. I've had a few dance competitions. Um, we've had a lot of performances. Um, um, we've been very, very, very busy with we've dance. We've added a few more classes. Like, it's been crazy. So, so, we are going to try to keep up with our videos. And also, um, our camera crew is not going to be filming many of our videos anymore because mm -hmm. they... Um, they got like a job or They signed something. with somebody else. Yeah. But also, um, we can do it all by ourselves because now we learn how to do it. So, yeah. there's an ant. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Gross. That's um, part of nature though, being outside. So, um, today we're going to show you guys some of the stretches that we do to get these cool tricks. Um, how we get them and just what we do to like get over the mental part of being scared to do something. Like, a back walk over, it's very scary, but... Because you're basically going... Back you just gotta trust you, yourself yeah. to do it. So um, we're gonna get started with some stretches. We stretched a little bit, but we're gonna show you guys some of the stretches that we do to prepare for doing these tricks. So to start, we're just gonna start in our butterfly and um, just put your feet together. It's like crisscross applesauce, but putting your feet together and put your legs down. And you can just push on your hips and we like to stretch out our necks in case we do like um, back walkovers and stuff where we're like um, leaning back and looking for the ground. So just um, very nice. Side to side and stuff. Roll out your neck really well. You can go um, to the left, to the right. And then also you can push down on your legs, which... Or what sometimes we do is we have like the little kids stand on. Or you. sometimes like Ashley lets me stand on her. Yeah. I'm just about all the way down, so like, yeah. I don't need somebody to stand on me quite yet, yeah. but like... Ooh, that feels good. Yeah, just to... But you want to make sure you step right here, not like on their knees yeah, too far that would down. Hurt. Um, the next thing that we sometimes do is um, just a straddle, which we're going to have to face this way. Um, and we have the mat, our big mat back here. We're just stretching on our little or purple ones. Um, and then we also have the big mat upstairs, but we didn't bring it down for this video. So we just kind of start side to side. I think we're going to adjust the camera angle. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Our camera was starting to fall because we had it on the other mat. So um, I'm just wearing like my old half soles that I wear outside, um, just because I don't always like to go um, touching the ground or in, running in the grass because it itches my feet. And then we also sometimes do where we pull each other forward. So if she pulls me forward, I can go all the way down and then I can pull her forward. She goes all the way down. But make sure you don't pull too hard because it's also a good friend stretch. Might hurt. Um, we also like to stretch. Then we'll stretch in the center. Okay. And look, look through your legs. Also, you can grab your uh, ankles. Yep. Okay. Grab your ankles and pull yourself through. Whoop. Um, and then we'll start by stretching our lunge. Let's start with our right side because normally you start with your right side when you do lunges. So we are only gonna do right side right now because you just repeat the same thing on the left, but we'll do the left off camera. So just start in a lunge. I just like to bounce a little bit to get my hips pressed down. And then you can um, put your elbows in the middle. And sometimes you can drop your knee like I did back here or you can keep it up still in your Ooh, lunge. Keep that bow <laughs> That's oh a Oh my, weird one. that is very weird. It's getting close to the camera. Okay. Um, then you can reach back, bend your left knee. And you want to make sure your, right your hips are squared. Also, you want to make sure they're pressing into the ground or towards the floor. And um, you can reach, grab, reach back and grab your knee with your left also what or your I, right arm. Grab also, what knee. I always used to do is I used to have my knee go over my foot. You either want 
it to go, you actually want it to go straight, your knee right over your leg, mm -hmm. which always helps because. And then you can slide in your helps. splits, make sure your toes are pointed and turned out, not turned in, it's gross. Yeah. Um, and then reach forward. And if you're like right here for your splits, don't worry, because as long as you keep stretching, you'll get your splits. So then um, kind of just reach to the side. Sometimes I roll all the way in, but it's just to make sure my hips are squared and pressed down. And then we just repeat the same thing on the left. So the last and final thing we do is just make sure you stretch out your wrists very well because if you go into like a back walkover or even front walkover, your hands can pop. Yes, or um, like Trust if you um, are working towards your aerial and you put your hand down, it like kind of rolls your wrist, but just make sure you roll them out different ways. You just do different stretches. Even your arms too. Yeah, and you could go over your shoulder, do this, cross, press behind your this, shoulder. This, I always do this one. Bring your Shoulders, and then yeah. we have to make sure that we stretch our back bends. Yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> and then we can stand up, you can work towards yeah. that, or you can kick over or just go straight back down. So that is about a um, 10 minute stretch if you do it full out, um, which we did, but some of it off camera, like our also, left side and stuff. Yeah, also off camera we did sit ups. Um, push-ups yep we to really warm up our arms and our legs yep. and our abs so now we're gonna get into the fun tricks but before you do that you got to make sure you stretched at least a little bit because you could hurt yourself if you don't or stretch if you guys didn't watch our other um, tricks video with Skylar you can just do lunges across or even you can do just to warm up like some pop cartwheels for aerials or anything you want so we recently got these trifold mats. Um, Very nice. We got two of them for working towards our aerials, and um, also they're really good for stretching on. And they're nice mats. And then we also have our air track that we've had for like a while. We have two of them. The other one is upstairs, and then we also had the small pink mat that we use for like landing on. Fun fact, that was our very first mat and it actually worked very well. Also, one more thing is make sure you're dressed the right way. If you're wearing like jeans and a sweatshirt, hurt. it might not be the best to do like your cool tricks in. So make sure you're wearing like some workout clothes or um, anything comfortable, but not like too um, baggy or yeah. jeans that might hurt too. Yeah. You could also wear like um, a leotard um, or like a top and shorts or pants or whatever you want to wear, but just probably not jeans. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is a cartwheel or a pop cartwheel. I'm really, I'm working very hard towards my aerial. So basically for this, you want to make sure your splits or middle splits are very stretched out. You want to make sure your wrist and your legs are very stretched out as well. So here we go. So this is a normal cartwheel. And this is a pop cartwheel, which is helping me towards my aerial. Another thing to make sure is your hands are very stretched, your knees are stretched, and your toes are pointed because that will help you towards working towards your aerial. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is a front walkover. And you really wanna make sure your back is very stretched for this. So you can um, go from standing, or go from here, go up and over, or just press up. I'm just gonna go from standing. And then you can stand up, go down, kick over, whatever you wanna do. Um, make sure your legs are stretched and you stretch your splits because going over, you kick over through a split. Um, for this, you wanna make sure your arms are connected by your ears and they don't wanna leave your side because when you come up from your front walk over, you bring your hands with you right when you bring up your head. So. Make sure your toe is pointed and don't put too much weight on it. Make sure you can lift it up and then you can just go for it. And if it's your first time, make sure you have somebody spotting you like your mom or your dad or somebody older. So that was my first front walk over of the day. So it wasn't that good, but um, I made sure I stretched. So, and it was my first one, so it wasn't, it was just all right. So um, again, just make sure your hands are pushing off the ground and make sure your hips are pushing you this way instead of keeping you back. Otherwise, um, that's how you're gonna get stuck and stay in your um, back. Okay, I don't know for sure if my toe was pointed, but if it wasn't, that's okay. That's just something that you have to remember. Um, once you can get your front walk over, remember to keep your legs straight, point your toes, and um, give good corrections like that. So the last and final trick that I'm gonna be showing you guys is a back walk over 
And um, this one is the complete opposite of a front walkover, because front walkover, you go forward and um, stand up with one leg and start with one leg. And the back walkover, you start with one leg and land with one leg at a time, except for you're going backwards and front walkover, you're going forwards. So for the front walkover, you just, you know, go forwards like that. So then the back walkover is the exact opposite. You gotta make sure that you have no weight on this um, front foot, whatever one you're gonna start with. You can start with this one in front or this one in front. I start with this one in front, um, but it depends. You might wanna try both out and see which one you're better at. Um, for this one especially, you're gonna want somebody to spot your back and your leg to make sure you can kick over. Um, make sure you don't stop in a bridge because then you're gonna get stuck. But if you're just practicing for the very first time, obviously that's okay. And then um, when you start, make sure you are really arching your back so you wanna make sure your back bend is very stretched and again your splits because you are kicking over. So we're gonna start with the pointed toe and keep our arms by our, side, our um, heads the whole time. So to start, you're just gonna go back in your back bend and kick over right away. Like that. And um, you don't wanna make, you wanna make sure that when you get into your back bend, you don't bring your leg in because then you're not gonna be able to kick over and you're gonna basically just be doing a back bend kick over which is very similar except for you start with two feet together, go into your back bend, stop, and then kick over quickly. But back walk over, you keep it the same. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time. And sometimes it takes a little bit um, longer of a try to kick over than others. Like as you guys saw my first one, I kicked over way quicker than the second one. I kind of got stuck just a little bit, but it all depends on where your hands land, how fast you kick over and um, stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and turn on post notifications so you can be early to all of our upcoming videos. And um, we're gonna be starting to do some of these fun videos where we show our stretches and um, tricks that we do in each style of dance. And um, soon Ashley's gonna be filming a tap one um, where she's gonna teach some of her tap stretches, um, a small little like combo of tap moves and just some of the cool tap tricks that she can do so make sure you stay tuned for that and all of our upcoming videos because we have some exciting ones and we'll see you guys in the next video bye guys